Today we are doing a quick project to replace a bathtub drain assembly. And this is the original, which I removed just moments ago. And it is, uh, it's just nasty and corroded, but that's not the problem. The problem on these is oftentimes the uh, drain plug. It either gets kicked or nudged or in some way, and then it gets lodged in this uh, such that it won't lower. Or the, uh, and here's the new one. The, the shaft gets bent or just something happens to where it no longer works. So time to replace this. It's uh, 13 years old, this one. And purchasing a new one online, I think this was all of eight bucks. So a really inexpensive thing to replace. And I'm more or less overprepared here. I have more than what I actually need to do this job. but. Aside from the, uh, the drain assembly itself, you're, you will need a wrench like this. This I think was seven or eight bucks at the most. And uh, this will help you remove and replace the drain. Now you can use needle nose pliers and run the risk of breaking the center of this and then you have a real problem on your hands. So I would suggest the very inexpensive tool. Uh, as far as the new one, it is the correct thread type and it's more or less identical to the old one. Now what you might find when you purchase this is these come with a rubber o-ring which is is fine that's great however the uh, original plumber used plumber's putty so I'm going to do the same thing I'm not going to use the rubber gasket I'll just discard that or actually save it for another project but um, that's really the plumber's putty and some Teflon tape are really the only things you need. I had this just in case. I don't need that, so put that aside. But um, this is a super easy project and uh, something that anyone can do. Um, you know, Open-ended wrench or uh, adjustable wrench in this case uh, will do the trick along with the tool, plumber's putty, and Teflon tape. So we'll get this done and I'll take a quick look back. Okay, a quick look at the plumber's putty. I have about a hundred times more on this than it needs, but that's okay because uh, you want to do it in this fashion so that as you tighten this down, the excess actually gets squeezed out and then you just, you roll up what's left over and you put it back in the container. Uh, I just took this and I rolled it much like you would do pastry dough on the bottom of the tub and then uh, wrapped it around this. So again, way, way more than is needed. But uh, I like, you know, I'd rather have too much than not enough. And probably, I'm guessing, you know, 90% of this, maybe 80% will squeeze out and then we'll clean that up. So that's it. A quick look at the base of the drain assembly being installed. And again, you're going to use this tool and it's going to give you plenty of leverage. But as you start to turn this, it becomes harder and harder and then you will go to the uh, adjustable wrench. So pretty straightforward how this works and then of course the putty is going to ooze out as you tighten this down. I used both uh, Teflon tape on the threads and I'm using the plumber's putty around the circumference of, uh, of the base of the drain here. So again just I think this is exactly the way the builder did it and uh, I did not want to use the rubber gasket included with this kit. A quick look as the base of the drain is almost fully tightened and as I mentioned the, uh, the putty just oozes out. This is the excess and just some remaining there around the surround. So only a, maybe uh, one to two more turns and this will be tightened. And having another look at the base now that it's fully installed and tightened, I'll go ahead and clean up the uh, remaining plumber's putty. This is what was left over. And I think I estimated 90%. It actually used quite a bit more than that. And that's fine. That's uh, actually good. That just helps block any water that might get around the drain. But uh, I'll go ahead and get the stopper installed and wrap this up. The drain assembly is now fully installed and I'm looking ahead now to how long this might actually last. It'll only be a matter of time until one of my older sons kicks it 
and I will have to do the project once again. So I hope this helps.